Right, good morning, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, if you're new here, we are currently uh, travelling around Europe in our self-converted camper van, which we are extremely excited about. Um, this is our dog, AJ. He's more excited than all of us. Oh, yeah. Um, so when we left you last, we were just arrived in a in this amazing little car park that we're in, um, and it is surrounded by some really beautiful... Oh, yeah, really beautiful places. Um, so we got a chance to explore yesterday, and today we're going to take you and show you around. Um, but before we do that, um, we need you to tell you about our journey here, because it was quite the epic adventure, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I say epic adventure, we had to go over a small hill. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we should have known something was a bit off uh, when we got stuck in a very typical French mountainside traffic jam. We're stuck in a little bit of um, French mountain traffic. Cows are on the move. Oh, look at the cows. Oh, look at them. Are you going to be Oh, yeah, I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying. What are they, AJ? Mm. The girls. I know. I hope it doesn't hurt them. Okay. Don't worry. I'm a vegetarian. He's oh. a big boy. You don't say that very often, do you? Lou? I've never said that. So Lou's taken us on a detour. We've come up the worst, probably the best road, but the worst road. It's so windy like this, and then there's a drop on the side, and I actually just closed my heart, heart my eyes the whole time. <laughs> Let me show you where she's brought us. We're at a ski resort. Look. It's not that time of year yet, Louise. And look, guys, look. Actual snow. There's snow. I should go and get a snowball and throw it in her face for bringing me here. <laughs> I'll come and get you some. Lou's having a wee, but she can't find the toilet roll. Don't worry, I'm not filming you. <laughs> no, no one wants to see that. Going for a wee. Wee with a view. <laughs> Gotta go. Nature calls apparently. Anyway, back to this ski resort. It looks quite nice actually. Um, and I think you can. Where are you going? Go away from me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd definitely outrun her. But yeah, anyway, the, this ski resort it does look quite nice, doesn't it? Look at AJ the back there. See where we are. Send the drone up. Yeah, and find a road back down. <laughs> what was the road like coming up? What? Oh, look at that. I hope you can see that. Oh, it's pretty cool, doesn't it? I'll send the drone up. Oh. Knackered. I can't run at this altitude. That's ridiculous. Leave off. Yeah, so it looks like a quite a nice one. Um, and you can walk your dogs and everything in that around here. Cycle route and all that stuff. There is, um, I'm knackered as well now. There's like livestock and everything, but it says, as long as you keep your dogs on the lead, it'll be all right. Look, I've never been to a ski resort before. I don't think I fancy it, if I'm honest. Um, and I'm paranoid that overnight, I'm paranoid overnight that it's going to snow. <laughs> and then we're going to get stuck here. So we're going to head back down. And yeah. Basically, Emily <laughs> herself. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I hope that did hurt. Um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to head back down just in case it does snow because. We haven't got the tyres. <laughs> we haven't got the correct tyres. I would stay here. The only reason we are going to head back down is because it's going to get warm tomorrow, hopefully, um, and it won't be warm up here. So, yeah, down we go. Yeah, back down. But we're at a bit of lunch. It's nice. 
It's beautiful. It's so peaceful. There's, there's, I don't know who that car belongs to. But... <laughs> it's just a random car here, but no, it's really nice, isn't it? It is really Stunning. nice and peaceful. Peaceful. Stunning. Peaceful. I'd recommend this as a park up if you want somewhere up in the mountains. And again, I'll whack it on my blog and do the old. What three words? That's it. What three words? <laughs> Let us just do my love and I'd stop. Pretty special. Uh, so I don't know how much of this guys we're going to be able to film because I've already used all my drone battery. But am I glad we went the wrong way? Look at this. We'll find that out on the way. So let us just do my love, and I'd stop thinking of this over. That. that is amazing. Mm. Yep. Where are we? Oh, um, where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> You've literally just read it in the car. <laughs> no. I was trying to memorize it so I could tell you. Stay there. Shemin Ruru. Ditch you grand. Shemin Ruru did you grand. <laughs> yeah. I expect it's pronounced a completely different way, but that's where we are. And Shemin Ruru Ditch you grand is stunning. So Emily's just going to go at, um, video calling my mum. Just to really piss her off that she can't travel <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> Let's see if she answers. Come on, Joan. Bonjour. 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 You're on YouTube. Bonjour. You're on YouTube, Joan. I got a look at my hair. Oh, hey. I got my hair. Look at it. <laughs> I'm going to show you where we are. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> look at that. It's, it's amazing. Where is it? Um, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> Shemin. Ruru ditch you somewhere. Chamonix. <laughs> yeah, Chamonix. <laughs> Chamonix. No, no, we're not Chamonix. No. So, no. South of Chamonix, I think. Emily, talk French again. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's it's pretty it's cool. We're somewhere around there. Yeah, we've gone up. <laughs> yeah, we've gone up some windy roads, Joe. Uh, so today we are picking you up where we left you off in this car park in the woods uh, or the forest or whatever you want to call it. Um, I can't remember the exact name of the place yet again so I will put a little thing there. Uh, but right behind me there, that is where we have parked. Um, and like I say, it is just uh, just a standard car park. Um, but it is <laughs> the location of it is absolutely stunning. Um, and so you've got the, the river running down one side. If you head that way, uh, you've got a lake. And if you head that way, you end up at a waterfall. Um, but even just in the surrounding area of the car park, you can hear the, the river running, uh, there's picnic benches. Um, the sun has been out for the time we've been here, so AJ's been absolutely loving staying here. Um, the backdrop as well, I don't know if you can see, uh, the backdrop is again absolutely stunning. Uh, the nature, the beautiful location, um, it's just got everything you need uh, except for water toilet electric well we've got our own electric but um, there's all kinds of little tracks that lead off from the car park that take you straight down to the water um, some of them are a little bit steep and a little bit ropey but if you wanted to if it's a bit warmer you could just you could just wash in the river uh, the water is crystal clear and again even the view down there you're not up high you've not got nothing around you but it's just so nice to be uh, just surrounded by it basically uh, but yeah so yeah we're gonna leave here today because it doesn't have any water we're running low I need to enter the toilet and things so we're gonna make our way 
probably not too far, probably about half an hour, an hour away. Emily wants to find um, somewhere to do the, the, the washing, like the laundry. So we're going to head off somewhere to do that. But before we go, um, I am going to show you the waterfall where we are and I am going to show you the lake because the lake is absolutely stunning. Welcome to the lake. It's about, I don't know, a four minute walk from the car park. Uh, so Emily's been coming here quite a bit to take AJ round. Um, but it is an absolutely beautiful, peaceful, lovely spot. It's, um, I don't know if it's a lake or if it's a pond. It's, it's probably too big for a pond, too small for a lake. But yeah, it is absolutely stunning. And the backdrop, I'm gonna walk around the other side in a minute and the backdrop, um, behind the lake is just amazing like i say emily spent a lot of time here the last couple of days uh taking aj around doing a, a silly workout things um but yeah it's absolutely i can't stop smiling because it's genuinely amazing so this spot oh, i can't recommend it highly enough um and if lakes aren't your things uh there is a waterfall which we will be going to shortly but i'll just quickly show you what you've got here so yeah there's quite a, a variety of different hikes on option uh, hikes for all moods really so uh, the waterfall so the car park's back that way about four minutes and then the waterfall's another it says 40 minutes I'd say it's about 25 it's about two and a half well it is two and a half kilometers and then there's all these other hikes uh, that you can go on don't worry if you're a family with kids look you can bring a stroller that's fine there's an easy route um, but yeah it really is absolutely uh, beautiful Fancy a picnic? How about that for a spot for a picnic? Oh, yeah. yeah. You ready for some adventure, AJ? got my tripod so Emily's very kindly gone back to get it for me. She ain't happy. Don't worry, I'll get your tripod for you. You alright chaps? I've just had to walk back down a bloody hill because of you. Look out, here she comes. I'm trying to blow my nose. It's too bad you'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy Yeah, I think we'll go back the way we came, eh? So I've got myself lost. I thought I'd find something epic at the bottom. It got too sketchy, so now... I can't see Emily, but I can hear AJ. Oh, causing ructions with a French dog. Hi. No, it's not even AJ. Someone else's dog. Right, find Emily. Flipping useless. She says to me, well, if you're gonna go off, make sure you've got your phone. Well, I have, haven't I? She ain't answering hers. Muppet. Here she is, useless. Make sure you've got your phone, you said. Are you in me? Yeah. I've got my work phone. Well, why would I ring your work phone? Because it's smaller. No, it's in my pocket better. For God's sake. Did you get lost, did ya? You get got lost. I just want to say, when we split up like that again, and you always take the dangerous route, I want to take the key so I can get me and AJ home. <laughs> I listen when she talks. I watch her when she walks. She 
she's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well She's with somebody else Oh! I feel like I'm in the Blair Witch Project <laughs> Oh, it's up there! We've made it back to the waterfall You can see it behind me for um, those of you that follow our Instagram page, you would have seen that we came here yesterday and I'd done like a little bit of a story, but we wanted to come back to show you because it is really nice here and it's only about a 30, 40 minute walk from where we're parked up. It doesn't actually take that long, but if you take a nice little stroll, it goes all through the woods. It's a really pretty place. We did come really early yesterday and there was nobody about, but today we've seen like two other couples. So that's why I'm a little bit further down because there are a couple more up there. So. I would suggest coming like either quite early or maybe a little bit later on in the day. Right, we are just leaving that um, beautiful spot in the forest. Um, I should note there is a height restriction on the way in, but it's two and a half meters, and they've not even got the bar up. So, and it's luckily it's not there on the way out, which was a bit of a panic. Uh, but we are, yeah, we're moving away from there now. We're going to carry on heading south slowly. But before we leave, we've got to go about ten minutes back the way we came, because uh, there's somewhere very special that Emily noticed on the way in that she wants to visit. It's a chocolate shop! Look at all this chocolate. Oh my god. I'm in absolute heaven. Oh, my size. Yay. Here she comes. I wonder what delight she's got. What you got? Ten pounds worth of chocolate. Ten pounds. <laughs> Ten pounds. Yeah. That there's a it's got nuts on it. What's this? A roast. Ten pounds. You're whinging because it's going to cost us three euros to fill up a hundred liters of water. <laughs> you spent ten pounds on four chunks of chocolate. There is more than four chunks in there, and you will want to share these with me later. So. Will I get some? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I got this for us to share because it's a brownie. I'll add this part with the... The chocolate on? No, the part... <laughs> you don't want the nuts on it, you said. Right, so we're going to head off now. We're going to crack on and find somewhere for water. We need water, LPG. We need oh, to it's empty gone back up. up to two now. We don't need LPG. <laughs> <laughs> the LPG gauge, depending... Because we're running low, depending on what, what way around we park the van, it goes from red to then like two dots out of about eight dots, isn't it? So yeah. red to a quarter. Uh, but we do need water, we do need to fill it uh, to empty the toilet. Um, so we're going to head off, find somewhere for those things. Uh, Louise pees too much. Who drinks all the beer? Who drinks all the beer and breaks the seal early? That'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Uh, yeah, but we've decided we're not going to go to uh, Lake Annecy. Um, the reason being, one, as you can probably see, the weather's turned again. Uh, and two, because it was just really busy down there. And we've decided we probably like the... We like the off-grid places better don't we yeah you know you get it all to yourself it's lovely and what with covid being uh the way that it is at the minute it just seems silly to to go there and i know i've just gone in the chocolate shop but come on and it's just better if emily supports the small local businesses that exactly. would normally be thriving right now but are probably struggling there you go dug you out of a hole <laughs> You, you you are welcome <laughs> so yeah i don't know we're just literally sat in the car park of this chocolate shop we're going to pick a direction it'll be south and then just pick a road and um yes yeah, so who knows where we're going to end up but we will uh we will definitely show you what we find when, of course. We, when we find it you can have whatever i don't like <laughs> just pass me a bloody chocolate will you no, I like this one. Are they good? Mm -hmm. Pass me a brown one then. Oh, actually, it's a bit coconut. You can have that one. So I get your half leftovers? Yeah. Unbelievable. You're lucky I'm sharing. Ten pounds these cost us. You've made me wait all day. She's 
she's made me wait all day to open these just so she can film it. She's <laughs> such a cow. All day, we've got them this afternoon. It's only been a few hours. That's like a lifetime. <laughs> I did eat the brownie straight away though. I will say they're very expensive chocolates, but they are good chocolates, aren't they? Yeah. So what the deal is, is I'll try them. If I like them, I'll eat them. If I don't, then Louise can have one. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. But anyway, guys, um, that is probably going to be it from us this week. Um, as you can see, we're having a great time in France. Uh, so we're going to carry on slowly making our way down. Um, yeah, and see what we can find. And we will catch up with you guys in a, a new spot, just as beautiful as the ones we found so far. Or stunning. Or stunning or amazing, because that's about all the adjectives that we know. <laughs> I'm going to start looking in a dictionary. <laughs> um, but if you like this video, please do consider cons <clears throat> uh, subscribing. Um, give us a thumbs up. Uh, ding the notification bell if you want to know when future videos are coming. Like I say, we're trying to stick to every Wednesday and every Sunday. Those days are subject to change due to the weather, our power situation. And, you know, we don't want to we don't want to spend a whole day sat indoors editing when it's sunny. So the Wednesday ones may be a Tuesday or a Thursday, <laughs> but or a Friday. So yeah, if you ding the notification bell, you will be notified when those videos come out. But for now, guys, we will see you on the next one. I've never been known for my cautious side. You should know that I'm